Hey there, welcome to some tips and the 16 tutorial of cell programming. In this video, I am going to give you some mathematical expressions or operation results like sin, cos, tan, log, square root and many more in this video. So let's get started. So in the previous videos I have operation done with integer number and floating point number. In last video with the floating point number use some other language BC and the BC was the language where the arbitrary precision calculator language is there and it will work in the arbitrary. But in this video I am going to use AWK language or AWK command to get this kind of mathematical expression result and this awk is a kind of language where the it is said that it is a pattern scanning and processing language so let's see how the awk command works in cell terminal to do this i am going to create a new program prg7.sh first of all here addition multiplication division subtraction everything can be done with floating point and as well as integer so in the bc and as well as awk you can do floating point basic mathematical operation so first of all i am going to show you how you can do change the same thing addition subtraction what I have done my previous video so and it was maybe in the my third not at all in my third so let's see where I have taken two numbers from the user and maybe in the 40s yes. so here it is so same thing is going to be happened so let's copy this all the thing in the first number in the second number so just copy it and going to save in the new program same thing but after this you have to use the awk in this way so here it is my in the inside z i'm going to save the result and awk command how it is looks like echo then the dash and then the pipeline and this pipeline is going to give you the as statement or a string what is this it is asking awk to work to perform the operation then the single quotation is going to start then the print option is going to dollar a plus dollar b and remember to give the space between uh, before and after a plus and then it is going to end the bracket and as well as the quotation single quotation but all the thing is going to be happen in the reverse quotation to say that of operation this operation will be first operate or work first then it is going to add result value inside z so let's do run this program it is asking to enter the first number enter the second number yes it is asking this way the result 6.6 .6. the result is going to give you the same thing but let's do some division operation here how it works let's find out so that's the result 1.48 is coming but 1.25 is coming but the uh, advantage is that there is no zero is coming or do not have to set the scale like bc so this is quite good and better comparing to bc this awk is better one so let's check out the asterisk option is working there or not yes asterisk is working so let's move to my special mathematical operator like first of all i'm going to give you the square root to use the square root what you have to use you have to use this square root like in this way so inside the print you have to write 
द डॉलर ए सो प्रिंट स्क्वायर रूट डॉलर ए सो दिस टू लाइन डज नॉट नीड टू बी एंटर्ड So I am giving a comment line. It will not be executed. So first number is going to give you the square root. So enter number let uh, square root of nine. It is giving the result three. Absolutely right. So square root have been performed. And next is I am going to give you the log or logarithm. So here it is the log have been came out and if you are going to enter the log 16 it is going to 2.77 and in the calculator if you are going to use the log 16 it will also give you that 1.20 because here the logarithm base is some different here the logarithm base is e you already know base is e so in this way the logarithm works only base e so next i'm going to do something sine cos tan so here the sine cos tan everything works in radian format so sine 1 or sine radian 1 is giving 0.84 but you all use in the form of degree so here i am going to write a program where user will enter the degree and then it will convert to the corresponding radians and then give show you the result as we all know sine 90 equal to 1 so let's do write this program so enter the number it will be degree so enter degree it will be asked to enter the radian format and here what i'm going to do i'm going to perform an operation there so what is going to here inside b i'm going to convert this enter degree into radian and if you have forget how to use this degree into radian first of all you have to use and you have to multiply with the degree value into pi and divide it by 180 to get the corresponding radians so the question is coming how to get the pi value and the pi value is there is many ways to get the pi value using four asterisks a in the bracket one something but the easiest way to do this from your calculator just find out the pi value and save it and use here as a multiplication don't use 22 by 7 here because the 22 by 7 is not actually actual value of pi so actual value of pi is 13.14159 dot 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 so you should use at up to 159 so 3.14159 so how to use this first of all you have to use and i have already said how to use this expression there so what you have to do first give the dollar symbol then give the bracket and then use a because inside a the value is there then gives space and then it is multiplying with the value of pi but here i am now not going to work because of this it does not support the multiplication of the floating point so how you can get this you have to use again this kind of operation so to do this operation just 
copy and paste it and inside here I have to do some changes so here it is I have written and in the B what is going to convert the degree value to radian and how it is going to happen dollar a that's been entered degree value into 3.14159 then divided by 180 and then already stored in b and sine b is going to happen there so let's find out uh, program how it is running and i have already run so it is going to enter the degree just first of enter degree 0 equal to 0 then enter the 45 degree it is going to point zero seven zero the 90 degree it will show one so in this way degree is converting into corresponding radian you are getting the result to get the cos just change the program cos enter degree so cos zero should be one and cos one on 90 degree should be zero so up to 45 it is okay but when you are going to enter 89 let's type enter 89 yes it is showing 0 0.01 but as soon as you enter 90 it is going to give some error so i will i'm not i don't know why this kind of error is showing here it should show the accurate result but it is the giving the result not the uh, in not undefined result giving some result which is not the correct so it is some problem of the awk language there so now i am going to check with the tan so tan 45 function tan never defined so tangent is not working so only sine cos will work there and to get the tangent we have to divide sine by cos in this way you only get the result so only sine and cos is defined there so we have to do by yourself convert sine into cos sine by cos equal to tan so other is not working here only sine and cos defined there so it kind of the awk programming language concern so in this video i have covered log sign cos and other thing so now i'm going to next is going to use power so 2 to the power 3 or 5 to the power 6 how will be the result i'm going to use here in this video so here i'm now going next to do the square operation there and to the power operation i have already done square root so something to the power 2 or something to the power c is going to there so suppose now i am going to give the equal the number of the equal the number the base so user will first enter the base then it will be stored in a then user will enter the radix and it will be stored in b so i am now going to show you enter the radix so then echo option will do the print a then this arrow to the up will define the power a to the power b and then it will be shown in the result of z so let's save it and run it there in database so i'm going to do 5 to the power 3 it may it is equal to 125 let's see the result is 125 or not yes the result is coming 135 so the programming is good and in this way you can do the a to the power b and so in this way you can do sine cos and to the power logarithm operation using a w k if you found this video helpful like this video share this video and comment if you have any query and don't forget to subscribe some tips to get more videos on self programming in near future